Now the interactive transparency tool is one of my favorite tool in CorelDRAW and it's really powerful and easy to use. Um, in, in here, let's, uh, this three ones have this, this two, two images here. Actually, this is a shape and this one is an image. Let's start with this one here. I put some transparency effect on this one here. So this one is just an ordinary rectangle like that. And let's say I color it this one. I'll remove the outline. And in order to use the transparency tool, you could just go to the icon interactive transparency tool and I'll click and drag going up or you can go down like this. Okay. But I'll make it going up. And in here the slider, you can adjust the slider by click and dragging the slider wherever you want it to slide. And this one too you can adjust okay so once you put that in a dark background you got that nice transparency effect okay. so in here the original photograph I'm just going to remove the transparency okay the original photograph or image is this one here now you can create transparency by clicking on the transparency tool and click and drag going up or you can go going down so that's how you make a photograph fade in and fade out okay. now in here let's say I have this image here and I want to apply transparency but just a uniform transparency and no fading fading in fading out so you click on your transparency tool and in here in the property bar you just click on uniform and there you got a uniform uh, transparency and in here you can change the transparency okay it's uniform not like this one here this one is a radial transparency or a linear transparency now let's go to this one here uh, sometimes the the interactive transparency tool is also used for highlighting objects so for example here I use blend to do this ball here but let's say I want to make it realistic I want to make a, a highlight over here so I can use my ellipse tool to create the shape and I'm just going to put it somewhere there and I'll color it white I'm going to remove the outline okay and I'm going to go to my interactive transparency tool and then I click and drag going down there and if you notice it created a highlight okay so I can adjust the shape okay and you can still change the transparency by adjusting the position of the slider and the position of these two boxes here there that's it